ongoing racism has had a major impact on Aboriginal people's health. problem with racism in Australia, but we do. All well aware of what's happening overseas, um, but this is not the United States of America. We have very, very good relations with our local community. What? Oi! What the fuck? I'm concerned that people will use this uh, video, this footage, to create it into something that it's not. Any arrest like that worries, worries government, um, because uh, we want, you know, we, we, we want, we want peace in our community. What is happening in America has been happening in Australia for a very long time. We are shedding the light again about the way Indigenous peoples are treated. This isn't the first time something has happened like this with our people. It's overwhelmed with anger, you know, to see his liberty taken away like that, it's, it's distressing. Well, it was my body that hit the ground, but I sort of imagine in my body what it would feel like. Yeah, it's not nice to say things like that happen to your children, you know. Oi, if you don't... If, yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you to shut up. You shut up. You, calm down. Do not yell in my face. You step back as well. You, yeah, that's good. You step back as well. You step back as well, you back as well. You back as well now. Hello. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. You don't punch me, mate. Uh, you shouldn't be doing that with a woman, you know. On the ground. I understand what you're saying. Eh? She was spitting in my face. No one spits in my face. And you're lucky you're not going to the watch house for assault police. You come and pushed me. You're not allowed to do that, missus. You were. Everything no. we're doing is on camera. No. She, was, your name, please? she was spitting in my face. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. There's my card. Make a complaint. They'll see the footage of you acting like a fool to me. You're going for assault police, mate. I did not tell you. Yes, you Sorry. did. On Saturday night, two police officers sought Kumanjai out to arrest him for allegedly breaching conditions of a suspended sentence for break and enter. The police found him at his grandmother's house and, during that encounter, the teenager was shot. Ten hours, we sat there, we sat there. They have never ever told us what they were doing, what he was doing, what's going on, never.
Well, it stinks, in my own opinion. I think we had the right to go and see some of our, one of our young fellows, whether he was wounded or dead or still half alive or something like that. That we will refuse our rights. My granddaughter is only 18 years old, and you know she lost the love of her life. <laughs> and we want to, you know, we want to put right justice to be done. I've waited too long for justice uh, to be handed down for my people and it's time for me to make a change in the only way that people are going to listen to me and I'm going to do it peacefully. Call out racism, call out ignorance, call out unjustifiable behaviour, even if they're your family, because that's where it starts, at home. You, that's what you can control in your little circle. 2020, you know, where is the freedom, where is the justice for us as Aboriginal people in this country? You know, here in the city, in the community, we're continually harassed by the police. Hopefully that this will be a great opportunity for us to make change for all our young people right across Australia. Yeah, I, I think ra racism is, is not getting worse, it's getting filmed. Whatever it's gonna take, we're gonna get there.